Hello, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I hope everyone's having a good day. I am Sour Blue Sister, and this is my turn to talk. Welcome, Crucible Men and 100 Yardle Chemists. Thank you for joining me today. And Chemists, I have to tell you, yesterday evening, you had me laughing again. I had to re-listen to the show, and I laughed once more. So let's get started. <laughs> well, yes, it, it is good. It is good. All right. So today's show is about hypocrisy. And are you a hypocrite? Do as I say, not as I do. Uh, can you admit when you're wrong? Can you be honest when it comes to words coming out of your mouth? Can you admit when someone you admire or believe in is wrong? And do you deflect instead of answering the question? Are you honest? Hello, J and B. And what is hypocrisy? Now, by definition, hypocrisy is the practice of claiming to have moral standards or beliefs to which one's own behavior does not conform or a pretense. And um, I came up with this um, topic because in the last two weeks, just from watching the news and, um, you know, listening to what's going on, you know, um, socially on a, on a political scale. And, you know, even, you know, um, just talking with, uh, with friends and what have you, there's a lot of hip hypocrisy out, out, out there. And I will admit, you know, uh, there have been times when I have been a hypocrite and, um, so I am going to call myself out. But today, in today's society, what I find uh, is that um, we have more hypocrisy out in society that is hurting society. Um, in my opinion, and this is a word that I've started to use often, there's a lot of propaganda out 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 there. You know, what do you believe? What do you not believe? Um, you know, um, do you just, you know, listen to, uh, you know, one particular party or, or, or group or, you know, whatever, and you take it as, as the gospel truth? Um, do you say one, one thing, but actually do, do something else? So I want to open it up. Uh, before I keep going. And I just want to know what you guys think um, hip hypocrisy is. Um, do you think that there is a lot of hypocrisy that is out there now? I mean, what do you think? Does anybody want to come into the conversation with me? If not, I will keep going. Crucible man, you usually have something to say. So would you like to say something? If not, like I said, I will keep going. And one of the um, things about hypocrisy is how it hurts people. I find that um, hypocrisy right now is um, hurting the country. And, you know, is 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 gotten to the point where um well if you want to come on Cru crucible man you may have the uh mic um hip hypocrisy is hurting the country in my opinion these this is just all this is strictly my opinion to where you know people are getting hurt some people are are, are getting killed um you have you know people out there they're just spewing stuff that's just blatantly not true. Um, I think we have hip hypocrisy in our schools. So, you know, that's where I come back to say, you know, what do you think hypocrisy is? And do you think you're a hypocrite? You know, um, can you admit when, when you are wrong? Um, 
you know, or do you def, de- deflect when someone asks you, you know, a straight on question, do you deflect to, to, to something else, you know, because you don't want to answer that, that question because either you can't answer it honestly, or you don't want to answer it honestly. So is being a hypocrite the same thing as being dishonest? What do you think? Anyone? Anyone? Chemist, do you have a comment? Do you think I'm wrong or? Yes. Okay. Uh, Crucible Man, you can come on if you like. So. Okay. Hello? Yes. You, you, you have the mic. Yeah, you kind of stole my thunder there, Solid Blue. I I think we should call it what it really is, and it's straight-up dishonesty. There are all kinds of different hypocrisies out there. Some are more benign than others. Um, Some don't hurt people. Some are just, like I said, more innocuous than others. We're all hypocrites. Anybody walking this earth is a hypocrite because we're all flawed people. We're all God's children, and we all have our flaws. And honesty is something I think at any given time people struggle with as they – another way of, of looking at honesty can be – you know, it depends on, on where you stand on something um, in terms of whether you consider it to be dishonest or whether you consider it to be – only you know rationalizing something and we all rationalize things um to a certain extent to fit the narrative that we've chosen and i can admit when i've when i'm wrong i don't like to be invested in false narratives i don't like to be invested in propaganda it it offends me and i am somebody i have more than my share of flaws god knows but I am, I am somebody who has always, from the time I was a child, tried to be very well read. I, I've tried to read several newspapers a day ever since the internet's been around. I, read, I go to multiple websites on both sides of the aisle just to get the facts. And too many people today are basing their quote unquote facts on somebody else's false opinion. And I don't think anybody takes the time to really investigate and get the facts because they want to stick with what they're comfortable with. On the right or on the left, politically, you want to stay invested where you're comfortable. And if where you're comfortable means the other side is evil, but there's facts to support something less than evil, you're probably going to tune that out because it doesn't support your already preconceived narrative. So to answer your question, yes, I think we're all hypocrites, but I think it needs to be called out for exactly what it is. As you said, it's straight up dishonesty. All right, then um, I'm going to step into the political um, pool here. Um, you know, I, I, I again, um, you know, I watch the news. I watch, you know, various news, uh, uh, news stations. Um, uh, but I do find that there's one particular channel that is nothing but 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 propaganda. And, um, you know, <laughs> You know, just looking at what is just going on in in society, it just gets to the point where you have to look at people and say, are you really believing the shit that is coming out of these people's mouths? I mean, do you really believe, you know, that that these people or this person or 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 or, or that group or that teacher or that senator or or, you know, um, you know, your neighbor, whatever? Do you really believe that the things that are coming out of 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 their mouths, and do you really so support that? Um, you know, I look at last summer, and I look at the unrest of 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 of, of last summer, and I look at you know um, you know uh, groups like um, uh, uh, Black Black Lives Matter. Um, I look at the, the the Proud Boys. I look at the 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 One Per Centers. Um, you know all these groups that are out there, and I see that um, you know there's a lot of finger pointing. You know, um, uh, you know, and, and what have you. And yes, there are there there is more than one station that 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 that, that spews propaganda. But when I see something like January sixth. And 
one particular news station did not cover it. You know, they were off talking about, you know, voter fraud, whatever. But in the aftermath, when they covered it, they're blaming it on Black Lives Matter and, and Antifa. You know, and Antifa is not a is not a is not an organization. It's a thought. Um, you know, and you look at it and you know you're like, okay, so it was Black Lives Matter. All these people, you know, you had thousands of people there, and it's you know, and it's Black Lives Matter. Um, you know, uh, and then they're like, well, is is not violent. Um, uh, you know, but they recovered no no weapons. Okay, so a crucible man says January sixth was called an, an armed in, uh, insurrection. Yet they recovered no no weapons, huh? Well, you know, armed does not necessarily mean that you have to have guns because in in DC, hello, hello o, OJ, how are you? In in DC, you're not allowed to have to have firearms. So being armed does not mean that you're carrying a a a gun or an assault um uh, uh rifle if you are turning um if you're carrying bear bear spray and you're spraying it you know mal maliciously at someone that's a weapon if you take you know um you know a an american flag or a flagpole or or whatever and you're beating someone that is a weapon if you're taking a chair or you're taking a a, a police shield you know, um, and you're breaking in, you know, break, um, breaking win windows to to get in to get into a, a a building that is a weapon. Now, on the other hand, let's talk about last last summer um, when you have people who are supposed to be um, uh, um, peaceful pro protesters you know, and they start breaking out windows or they start burning things or they start, um, you know, um, uh, burning down a, um, a uh, law enforcement building. You know, that's violent and they're using weapons. So I am being fair. I am looking at, at, at both sides. So both sides cannot say, one is more violent than, than 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 the other when both of them were um you know um you know and i'm not saying and and, and crucible i mean and, and kim is saying you know the pot has um, um ha, 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 has to be stirred well you know maybe it it uh it, it does because i want to know when you talk about hip hypocrisy what do you you know exactly what do do you mean and are you being honest when when you say it? You know, when that teacher at school, you know, tells your kid that they can't wear a certain thing, but then another kid walks in and they're wearing, you know, the exact same thing the next day, but, you know, they don't get in, um, in into trouble. I mean, you know, even at home, you know, do you have hypocrisy within within your own household? Do you tell one kid that they, they, they can't do something? But you let an, another kid kid do it, you know. So exactly what is hypocrisy? So I'm covering all the 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 entire gamut, you know. So anybody want to jump jump in? Crucible man, do you have something you wanted to say? Yeah, I, like I said, I'm kind of repeating myself here, but it's straight up dishonesty. And and I, for one, have never been un, never been comfortable when when I listen to something or I read something, I verify it verify it through multiple sources. I never take just one station or one person's word for anything. I'm I'm not bragging or anything, but I'm fairly well read. I tend to have a lot of time on my hands, and I spend that time reading a lot. So I'm one who who is who is fairly comfortable that I have the facts at my command on most issues. And when it turns out that I was assuming something that turned out not to be true because I have verified it myself, I cop to it. I don't think there's any point in going through life willfully and knowingly dishonest. I don't know what that solves. I don't know who that helps. I don't know how you feel good about yourself. Um, 
but the world is full of people who have decided that their version of the truth is more important because it makes them feel better and it makes them feel superior. So I call myself out all the time when I've made an assumption that turns out not to be true. The truth is very, very important to me, even if it means what I previously believed in is no longer valid. Okay. All right. Does anyone want to comment on what on what Crucible Man just said? Okay. OJ, if you would like to have the mic, you can come on in. But man, I just have uh, have one question for you, sir. Uh, I am not doubting your capability of reading or or, or your uh, or whatever. But uh, again, from my from the, uh, from my um, uh, uh, perspective, we we read a lot of stuff, we hear a lot of stuff, but then right now what we are doing is we we uh, we are seeing that uh, the source of information, be it the print or, or be it the electronic media, because right now the the media is uh, is sold off uh, sold off to the uh, extreme rightist group in, in, in India and there is just one or maybe two uh, two uh, 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 source of news which is uh, unbiased and they give and they give uh, uh, accurate uh, information but then a, a two out of hundred is, is kind of uh, insignificant. So ultimately, what is happening is uh, whether whether we we like it or not, the the amount of negative information or the misinformation or the disinformation which is which has been which has been pumped into us day in day out, we tend to we tend to uh, get swayed towards the uh, towards those who um, who will have who will have. Uh, purchase the the media and and and, and the way uh, those people want us to think. Okay, Crucible Man, do you want to re respond to what OJ is 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 asking you? Yeah, clearly, I think the media is probably ninety nine percent responsible for the misinformation, disinformation, propaganda. Call it whatever you want to, but people. There's an old saying that says people believe lies because they want to. They don't have to. There's plenty of places on the Internet where you can verify information and you don't have to trust the media. I, I, I know when I hear the news come on, I can see the angle that they're taking and I just turn it off because I already know the truth. And a lot of times the truth is not in my favor. It does not favor the side that I'm on and I don't want to hear it. I don't deny it, but I don't want to hear it again. So I, 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 I can tell by whatever station I'm watching the angle that they're going to take, and it's up to us as human beings to do our own research. We can't just go with something because it makes us feel good or makes the other side look bad. It's, it's kind of like, you know, grow up already, everybody. Stop acting so immature. Stop acting so selfish. And that's another subset of hypocrisy. Not only is it dishonesty, it's selfishness. It's I'm choosing to believe this in spite of evidence to the contrary because it makes me feel better. If that's not the height of immaturity and selfishness, I don't know what is. Okay, uh, you 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 bring up some um, so some some good points. So does so does that mean that you know if you're listening to a particular news news channel or or a particular person or uh, or, or a particular group and. Um, what they're saying is just so out there and you pretty much know that it's wrong that you know that you will call it out and do you call it out all all the time and have you always called it out and I'd like, that's, that's directed towards towards crucible matt i'd like to think so i mean i know the person who occupied the white house you, you refer to him as the other guy um you know i was a supporter of his policies i was very much um, a non-supporter of everything else that came with it. And I wasn't shy about saying it. And I know an awful lot of people who were also a supporter of his policies, but had nothing but distaste and disdain for all the antics and all the 
all, all the bullshit, excuse my language, and there was plenty of it. And I know a lot of people who are on that side of the aisle who can't stand the man personally, but they separated out because they were supportive of his policies. And you have to look back and think a lot of them did, did work. And I know a lot of people who like the guy and they don't want anything to do with him in 2024. So yeah, I do think that you're, you're capable of rejecting something that ought to make you feel good. If you, if you know deep down that what you're watching and what you're listening to is just wrong, no matter who is saying it or no matter who is doing it, wrong is always wrong, period. All right. Now you, you bring up another point. Um, welcome sh shy lady. Um, you know, you, you, you bring up another point because, you know, um, I personally think that, um, I call him the, the, the former guy because I refuse to say his name. Um, you know, I look at him and I think he's the epitome of, of, of hip, of hypocrisy. You know, um, when you, you know, can you support someone's, um, can you support someone's views and ideas, but you, um, don't like them, meaning I hear a lot of people say, and this is on, on, on both sides, I'm not, you know, voting for the person, I'm voting for the party, you know, and it's like, well, isn't the person part of, of, the, of, of, of the party? Isn't, you know, the way he, he, he thinks is going to, you know, have bearing on how someone's going to run the country, um, you know, how a parent thinks is going to be how they raise their their children. How a teacher thinks is going to affect how he or she teaches in her classroom. You know, um, how are you going to talk about, you know, keeping people out of the country and you're separating children from their parents, who a lot of those children still have not been reconnected after years. Um, you know, but yet, you know you married two people who were foreigners, you know, you made sure that your wife's parents, you know, be, became citizens. So that's hypocrisy to, to, um, um, to, to me. And yes, you know, cages did start in, in, in 2014. And I think that is, um, that, that is awful. I did not like when, when Obama did it and I still don't, don't, don't like it, but separating you know, children from, from their families, just, you know, I mean, that's just barbaric to, 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 to me, you know, but once again, you know, um, to me is a form of, of hypocrisy. And OJ, you said who feeds internet. I'm not sure what you mean by that. What do you mean by, uh, yeah. who feeds internet? Okay. Uh, uh, that's, this 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 was this is for for a crucible man uh, he he says that uh, like he he just mentioned that uh, uh, he, uh, he he listens to one station and he, the moment he gets the drift of it he knows from which angle it is coming so so, so he, he he changes the the station and then and then best is to uh, get the stuff on the internet now my question is somebody is feeding stuff on the internet internet cannot it cannot just segregate the news and have the stuff on it by itself so it is still a man fed information on the internet that's what i meant oh oh, oh, oh okay you you have um, you have a good point there, okay. And Crucible Man says you U.S. citizens need to be uh, vaccinated, but not immigrants. That is hip hypocrisy. Well, I'm not sure how it is around the rest of the country, but a lot of the uh, immigrants or whatever you want to consider immigrants, Ill Ill illegals or whatever, here in California, they want to get 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 vaccinated. You can line up and you and you can get a shot. So, you know. Um, you know, so, uh, but that, but that is hip, hip, hypocrisy, you know, but um, 
I don't know. You know, I, I, again, we we live in a time where we should be, and when I say we, I'm talking about the the, the country as a whole, should be working together to make things better. But all we're doing, or it seems like what we're, we're doing, is just continuously, you know, bringing people down, you know, and I think a lot of it has to do with, with hypocrisy, everything from, you know, um, from, like I said, from politics at the highest level, you know, uh, appointing people to the Supreme Court, to what is going on in, in, in your own home. You know, and, and like, like, like like I said, do you, you know, are you a hypocrite in, in your own house? Do you allow one child to do something, but you don't allow the other child to, 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 to do something? Um, you know, you know, you know, in the classroom, like I said, do you allow one student to do something, but you don't allow the other one to do the exact same, same thing? So I don't know. I don't know. And no one seems to be able to admit when, when, when they're wrong. Um, yes, I would uh, agree with that. You know, um, I just think that we as a whole, you know, um, you know, even when you're admitting when, when, when you're wrong, do you think, do you think that you're, 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 you're wrong? Um, you know, um, do you think that what you believe in is, uh, right? So, Apparently, you know, you may not think think that you're you're wrong. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I would like to think that you know that I can ad, admit when 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 I'm wrong. I mean, I am stubborn, you know, whatever. Um, but um, if something's just like blatantly in in my face and is wrong, then it's wrong. That's because it's my belief, hence it, it can't be wrong. Okay, OJ, you, you're making a point. If you be, be believe something, then, you know, it 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 can't be uh, wrong. But can it? Just because you believe something doesn't mean that it's right. I mean, and we've, we've all done that. You know, we all, you know, b- believe something and, uh, you know. But, you know, once again, I just ask, do you think that the world today is not able to move forward the, the way it should? And I'm not just not talking about America. I'm talking about the world. Do you think the world today is it's like we're, we're, we're like stuck? Do you think it's because of hypocrisy? And OJ says, absolutely. And Crucible says, what? I'm not understanding what the what is. What do you mean by what, Crucible man? Well, the comment that, or the, the chat box where OJ said, it's, if it's his belief, it can't be wrong. Um, if I went around telling people that I believe the moon is made of green cheese, would I be right? If I went around telling everybody today was Wednesday, because I believe that, would I be right? Beliefs are not the truth. Beliefs are what you believe. But if you, what you believe is not true, there's an old politician who's no longer with us anymore, Daniel Patrick Moynihan once famously said, people are entitled to their own opinion, but they're not entitled to their own facts. And I think sometimes we as people hide behind our positions by calling them our beliefs, and that somehow makes them unassailable. And I don't agree with that. Okay. All right. O- OJ, do you want to, to respond to that? Um, you know, and as far as the moon, you know, being ma- made of cheese, I've never been been to the moon. So, <laughs> all right. O- OJ, do you want to respond to what Crystal I, Man said? I, yeah. Yeah. I, I, to a certain extent, I, I agree with him. And yet I, I disagree. See, if I if I am if I believe that yes, the moon is uh, the the Earth is flat. Uh, that, that that's my belief. And now and now, if, if you guys try to prove me that no, I'm wrong, you guys are right. 
to, for argument's sake, I said okay, but but still at the at the back of my mind, I I will still say the earth is flat. So that that is that that is the 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 conviction or the belief that I uh, that, uh, that I have uh, in me. So uh, that's I mean I don't know, it, it's kind of a weird uh, 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 thought that, that is there in my mind, but then it's there. If I okay. believe, if I if I believe okay, the earth is flat, and, and I know, I'm just giving this example because I've heard a lot of people till date, they keep on, they have the, their, the arguments to prove that the, the earth is flat. I mean, I, I, for me, I, I find that, I find this, this hilarious. But for the person who's trying to, uh, who's trying to uh, argue over this and, and, and he tries to bring him, bring in his logic, for me, I find it still funny, but this guy, uh, he, he, he is so convinced, he is so convicted that the earth is flat, so for which he goes on arguing to the same. It makes sense what I'm saying. I understand exactly um, what, what, what you're saying, and that's going to bring me to my next question, just based on what, what OJ just said and what Crucible Man said. Um, uh, you know, said, um, so if something happens to you personally and, um, you believe strongly that, you know, things are happening to you because of X, X, Y, and, and Z, and just because it doesn't happen to you, does that mean that my belief is wrong because it doesn't, because it hasn't happened to you? Um, so am, uh, am I wrong? Crucible or OJ or anybody want to take that? I think I think any belief needs to be supported by facts. I think facts are the only thing that matter in this world, and we base we should be basing our opinions off of facts. They can't the facts can't vary. That it's not a belief um, if it's not supported by facts. If the facts turn out to not support your quote unquote belief then you need to get another belief because you're believing in something that's false. And I don't know what the practicality or usefulness of that is. I don't know where that gets you in life. Okay. So again, I say, but if something happens to one person and it doesn't happen to another, and I believe that is happening because of this or whatever, um, can you tell me that I'm, I'm wrong because it never happens to, to, to you? If you can, if you can supply supporting evidence that says this is why it's happening, then yeah, then that's your belief, and I'll believe you too. But if you just right. something that you've always been invested in, and you can't disinvest yourself of it because you you don't like the way that makes you feel, then I, you know, I don't know what to I don't know what to say. Hmm. I mean, you can if you're if you're having a particular experience over a period of time, and your logic and your powers of deduction and reasoning and common sense lead you to conclude a set of conclusions, then I'm inclined to say, yeah, you're probably right. But if it's just something that you've decided is the reason because it supports your previous notions about things, then I think that's where I'd have to part ways with that quote unquote belief. All right. I do have a comment to that, but I think, oh, OJ, you wanted to say something. Are you raising your hand or raising your finger? Do yeah, you want to yeah. say something? Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. I, okay. The, the classic example of this uh, is kind of very personal though. I like to, but, but I like to uh, bring it up because it's very, I, I think it's very apt. Let's talk about religion. I'm a Christian. I mean, I, I was, I, I, I was born into a, a, a Christian family. So, and, and, and we are, and we are third generation Christians. So I, so I am, I have, I've gone through the, uh, the Christian way of upbringing. And, and I think that Christianity is the truth. Fine. 
in a, a, we have I, I, my a friend of mine uh, from india he's a um, um, he's a stone hindu i mean for for generations they are the hindus and 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 for him he thinks he, the the hinduism is 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 the answer and 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 and, and hinduism is the a, the 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 way of life or a way to life and then also also uh, the muslims they, they have they have their their, their own set of uh, of of thoughts and i and 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 the and the holy book of quran and they believe the the quran is the way so uh, so we so we have we have uh, we, we drop uh, these parallel lines all across in in the society just because or uh, uh, because of uh, of our beliefs all right so you brought up a, another good point um so do you think there's hypocrisy in religion i mean we have a lot of different religious groups out out there um you know do you think that there's hypocrisy um in religion you know um you know, people do say, you know, I'm a Christian or I'm this or, or I'm that, but you know, exactly, you know, what what does that that mean? And um, um, okay, and <clears throat> shy lady says absolutely, and Kim says, oh my God, yes, tons. You know, so you know, so when you look at 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 the um, hypocrisy that's in religion, you know, it, you know, it's like, what religion do you believe? I mean, what, what religion is, is, is absolutely right. I mean, is there a right religion, you know, or should we all just go home and, 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 and start our own? I mean, anyone want to jump, jump in on, on that one? Anybody? <laughs> All right. Okay, shy lady. You have the mic. Hi. Hello. I'm, I'm going to say that I believe that the Bible is correct. I'm not sure the origin of Hinduism or uh, Buddhism. I'm not actually sure, but from what I know based on the, the other, the second largest uh, religion, which is um, Islam, the Bible was, was uh, 600 years before Islam was, was, was even thought of. And I say that a lot of religions have taken forms of the Bible to make their own. It's kind of like a lot of these churches. You know, there's churches that are Methodist. There, there's churches that are Lutheran, Catholic. They all say that they are Christian based, but they have different beliefs. They, they form their own um, churches. So that's my belief. Now someone else will disagree based on what they believe, but that's, that's what I believe. But okay, Sean Lady, do you believe that there's hip hypocrisy in most re re religions? Um, I, won't, I don't know if I would say there's hypocr hypocrisy in the religion. I think it's hip hypocrisy in the person who, who um, is a student or a believer of that faith, because just like, just as you have back in the biblical days, and we could talk about today, today's world. Back in the biblical days, you had, not, I'm sorry, not biblical days. Back in the uh, uh, Jim Crow days, you had people dressed in uh, white sheets. And they were um, burning houses, burning crosses on people's lawn. They were burning people, yet they would go to church um, on Sundays and talk about how much they love God and and how you know the world is is supposed to be um, this way because of God. But yet they were doing things to black people, Jews. Uh, they were doing things to people, even gay people. They were. Um, doing things to people that were against God. So lots of hypocrisy in people who have certain faiths. I won't say it's hypocrisy in the religion, but I say whoever whoever is of um, certain faiths, there's definitely hypocrisy. And even today, 
there are Christians who there are people who call themselves Christians who support abortion, but that's that's against God. So, and you know, you'll have women say, "It's my body, it's my right." Yeah, it's your body, it's your right, but you made the choice to have sex um, with someone, whether you were married or not married, or used protection or didn't use protection. It resulted in a life. So you have people who are who are like that. So I think there is um, hypocrisy today as well. Okay. All right. And you just opened up a whole new different topic for another show. <laughs> All right. So does anyone want to comment on, on what shy lady said? Because, uh, you know, I, I do believe that um, a lot of religions out there, I don't know if I want to, well, put like this, I will say that I do believe that um, um, people who call themselves evangelical Christians, I do believe that they're, that they are hypocrites. Um, but I also think that a religion is not necessarily hypocritical more so than the person who is delivering the message. And yes, like Shy Lady said, you know, some people who may be, you know, listening to them to the message and doing whatever, but you but you can't go out and, you know, um, you know, uh do things to people or or to things you know destroy property or you know um, harm people whatever you know um, call people names and then go to church on Sunday and you know say how much you you, you love God and then on Monday you, you you start the entire process all over again but then again we we are human but do you take it that that far so does anyone want to um, respond to what, what, what shy lady was uh, saying. Crucible man, did you have something you wanted to say? <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry. My phone was ringing and I think she may have cut out when I was answering the phone. Yeah, I, I do agree with shy lady. I don't think religions are inherently hypocritical. I believe it's the purveyors of the religion that are, are the hypocrites. And you know, I am not an overly religious person, but I do believe in God. I do believe in the Bible. And I don't care what you do during the week. You can't just show up on Sunday and pretend as if, and, and I'll go back to the Jim Crow era that Chai Lady was referencing. You can't do deplorable things to other human beings during the week, things that you know are, are wrong and uh, are against the Bible and would not be approved by, by God because if you have an ounce of common sense, you know how to treat other people and you know when you're not treating them properly. And you can't just do that all week and show up on Sunday and wave the Bible and go through this pious act and pretend like everything's okay under God. I don't think it works that way, but I think there's millions of people in, in all kinds of religions that do that very thing. And certainly they're not burning crosses or doing anything like that, but they mistreat people. They're dishonest in their dealings and they show up in church on Sunday for an hour and a half and all is right with the world again. I think that's the height of hypocrisy. Okay. Does anyone want to respond to what, to what crucible man said? I mean, because I don't know, you know, um, you know, I, I know the show is on hip, hypocrisy, but you know, does honesty and hypocrisy go hand in hand? If if you're a dishonest person, does that mean you're a hypocritical person? And if you're a hypocritical person, does that mean you're a dishonest person? Do those two words go hand in hand? So. Um, Shy Lady, okay, you're you're saying yes. Crucible Man says yes. Okay, Shy Lady, did you want to go into more de detail or, or no? Um, yeah, I, I, I said yes because if you if you you know pride yourself on on having integrity, then you should pride yourself on on being honest, and you can't have integrity. You're dishonest if you say dishonest or do dishonest things. So that that's definitely to me um, hypocritical. All right, Crucible Man, did you want to comment? Mm 
Okay. And oh, OJ, did you have a comment? Yes. Okay. I I I think I think hypocrisy is a is a uh, is a characteristic which which tends which tends to uh, which tends to make a person believe what he is not. Which means uh, you're lying. So uh, if, if if I lie, that means I, I, I to a certain extent I, I, I'm a hypocrite. Like like what what you and Christopher uh, Christopher Man had said that uh, uh, going to going to uh, going to church on on a Sunday waving your bible and for an hour and a half and then come and from monday onwards going up going going out beating up people and burning burning their 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 houses i this is this is this is something inhuman a human being cannot do by by default they cannot hit or kill another uh, another human being but then that's a kind of lie i mean that's a hypocrisy a hypocrisy is the is the is the uh, kind of an uh, overcoat uh, uh, overcoat uh, which one wears and and inside is lies so it, i i think hypocrisy and and lying it, it, it goes hand in hand. All right, hypocrisy and and uh, lying go hand in hand. Okay. All right. So, you know, l let me add, ask this: um, What about someone that you ad admire? You know, can you admit if they're practicing hip hypocrisy? Um, um, you know, someone that you, you know, think is, um, uh, you know, a, a great person in, in, in your life. Um, I mean, if, can you admit if someone in, in your, that someone in your life or someone that you admire, can you admit if they're hypocritical? And when I say someone, you know, that you admire, I'm not just, I'm not sticking to celebrities or politicians and stuff. I'm talking about someone that may, you know, live in, in your, in your household, someone that may be in, in, in your family, anyone that you admire or you believe in, can you admit if at times, or if they've ever been a hypocrite? Anybody? Okay. O o OJ says yes. Okay. All right. All right. Why not? Okay. The reason I asked that question is because I think a lot of people say yes, but I think that in, in reality, the answer is no. You know, um, you know, if you look, look at, um, for, for some people, you know, um, I don't think that they're really willing to call someone out that is close, close to them. It's easy to call out a politician or a, a celebrity or, you know, the person down, um, down the street, but are you really willing to um, call out someone who is, um, who is close to you? Okay. I'm late, but I disagree because you can take and take in information and spit it out without knowing if it's actually factual or not because your source either lied to you or didn't do their research, so you look like a hypocrite. Okay, so are you disagreeing with me or you're just disagreeing with, with parts of the, the conversation? And let me just read this again. Kim says, I'm late, but I disagree because you can take, okay, okay, so you're just saying that you disagree. You can take an information and spit it out without knowing if it's actually factual or not because your source either lied to you or didn't do their research so you look like a hypocrite and crucible man says you may not call them out but you can be disappointed in them okay you're talking about what i just said all right um does anyone want to comment on what uh crucible man or or kim has said
yeah i want to i want to jump in uh, to a crucible man uh he says that you may not you may not call them out but uh, but you can you can be disappointed uh, in them yeah see that that, that uh, there comes my point if i if i am true or if i am honest i i be, I, 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 um, I i should have the have the the courage or or, or the guts to to uh, to to, to, uh, to go up the, uh, to uh, to this to this person and say this is where i disagree because uh, because you are you are, you are saying this but you're doing uh, but you're doing just the opposite so so that means if i if i if i if i if i do not uh, 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 put this across this message across to this not to this person that means i i am i am becoming a hypocrite okay and oj i do uh, 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 agree with you on, on that part um you know um right you like kim says you 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 call a spade a spade you know whether you 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 like me or not i mean you know um um i i grew up in in a family where uh it was just me my sister my my mom and and uh dad but um we were taught you know to to speak speak your mind speak up for for yourself you know um very much everyone is an individual you know um my my dad always wanted to you know i said it before you know when when i was 16 my sister was was 18 for christmas we got um um tool tool kits you know that, that was one of our christmas gifts because my father always wanted his girls to not have to re rely on a man to to do anything you know know how to change a tire know how to change change the oil you know um you know have have your own money you know know, know, know how 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 to do things you know um um but on the other hand my mom um she was extremely independent you know but she used to say things and and do things that you kind of like tilt, tilt, tilt your head and you know to this day i will tell my mother you're being a hypocrite you know, so just because someone is is close to you, you know, um, you know, call them out and people have called called me out, you know, whatever. But there are some people who don't either. Again, that's why I say, can you admit, you know, that you're willing to actually call out someone close to you? Because a lot of times the people who are close to you may be, you know, doing or saying things that's total bullshit. You know, and. You know, you know, are you being a, a hypocrite because you're not calling them out? So, OJ, on that, you know, I, I, I totally, I am with you one hundred percent. And, you know, and if someone does call call you out, can you accept it? Can you take it? Because there are some people who, you know, who can't take who can't take criticism. You know, so. Um, you know that that again i come back to to the very be beginning of, of 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 the show when i said you know um what is a hypocrite i mean you know you know is it the true definition or is it a case by case thing um are can you look at yourself right now to to today and say for the most part because i do believe that we all have hypocrisy in us whatever but can you say for the most part you are not a hypocrite you know and again hypocrisy by definition is the practice of claiming to have moral standards or beliefs to which one's own behavior does not con conform you know so anybody want to agree with me disagree with me tell me I'm, I'm i'm wrong if one can't spade a spade is a hypocrite okay so you're basically saying and agreeing with what uh chemist says we all have our own integrity hmm that's interesting so crucible man what do you mean by we all have our own in integrity that's an interesting phrase um i think you may have misread my chat thing i said all we have is our own integrity not okay, all, all we have. Okay, I'm sorry. All, all we have. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So if 
if you're not able to admit to yourself, um, and I like to think that for the most part, I'm not a hypocrite. Do I have times where I'm, I'm, I'm a hypocritical? Of course. We, we, we all have the power of rationalization, and a lot of times that traffics in some form of dishonesty. We're trying to tell ourselves something that we know to be true is somehow not as bad as it really is because we don't want to confront the severity of what we're, what we're talking about. And we don't like to think of ourselves as dishonest, but anybody over the age of, of 15 years old knows right from wrong. They know when they're being you know, disingenuous or dishonest or hypocritical <clears throat> and they don't want to admit to it because it would cause them to either have to change a position, change an opinion. A lot of people, um, don't want to admit because they, it reflects on them in a way that they've, they've been invested in a certain spot for all their lives. And just because they're confronted with the quote unquote truth or facts that might dispel what they've believed for many, many years, doesn't mean they're suddenly going to, going to cop to it. People have all kinds of reasons for being hypocritical, but mostly it makes them feel good even though they know deep down that they're not being honest. So whether you admit to being a hypocrite or not, we all know when we're not being honest with ourselves or with other people. And that's what's called the power of rationalization. But not admitting that you're a hypocrite and you can rationalize all, all you want to, but sometimes when you try to rationalize you you start to um how do i want to say this i don't want to say that you start to argue with with other people but you start to you know get into disagreements with other people um again you know that's basically okay put like this to me you're what you just said basically is 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 saying what oj said if you're saying that is your 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 rationalization then isn't that the same thing as your belief so what's the difference between having a, a belief and thinking that, that, that is right or your rationalization that you think is right? Isn't that the same thing? They're, they're similar. Um, I think a rationalization is, is an excuse to stay on the side there where you're comfortable. And so you come up and you kind of contort yourself into a position that is, is hard to support, you know, in the light of day, but you stick, you stick with it because you don't, the alternative is not, is not palatable. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if I necessarily uh, agree with that. Um, 100%. I have, I'm going to have to think about um, that, that response for, for a moment. Um, and OJ says, agreeing to disagree. OJ, I agree. Now that I agree with 100%. And I have always said, you know, people who know me, I, I, I say, can we just agree to, to disagree? Because there are going to be times when you're just going to come at a standstill. And, you know, that's when I, I just check out and say, let's just agree to disagree because, um, you know, there are going to be, you know, there are times when you're just not going to uh, agree with, with, with the other person. This may be one of those topics where we just uh, agree to, to, to disagree. Um, and Crystal May, you're saying rationalization is just excuse making, but okay i don't know now it, it sounds like that you're kind of going in 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 circles here because on one hand well i'm i'm gonna leave 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 that one alone does anyone want does anyone else want to make a uh comment anyone okay well this has been um an interesting conversation. Crucible Man, did you have something you want to say? Hello? I try my best to, okay, Kim says, I try my best to 
be stand up because my family has a strong name in the city and so does my business and I represent both of those en entities. You know, Kevin, you know, you know, you 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 make a, a a good point. You know, when you're talking about your your reputation and your family name or you know, um you know, where you stand, you know, um you know, in in your city or whatever, that you know, you know, you you make a, a a very good point where um, you know, where your integrity does does matter. Um. So. You know, and I and I know you 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 have a uh, a uh, business and whatever, and your actions. You know, if you're a a hypocrite or you're or you're dishonest or anything, it will affect your business. You know, hello, Doss. You know, it, it will affect your business. It will affect how people see you. And you don't want um, someone um, or something to, you know, cause your family or, or your business to have a negative um, effect on, on people or, or, or anything else. So, yes. Okay, so does anyone else have anything? Okay, my children have to be able to carry on after me. Absolutely, a a absolutely. So, when you say you know, so let's talk about your children. Let's let, let's talk about people who are doing things you know that are hypocritical and and some of them just blatant lies. Do you think about your children? You know, when 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 you're doing this, you know, it's like you know when you're gone. Your children are still going to have your name. Do you care whether or not they have this reputation or or, or this black mark on on them because they carry a particular name? I mean, you know, that's another thing that you have to think about. You know, the things that you do, the things that that you say. Um, your children have to deal with this crap after you're gone you know so chemist makes a, a a very very good point all right so once again does anyone have anything that they want to say before we call it a day does thank you for coming but we are about to wrap it up I mean, he says i tell my kids do as i say not as i do all the time i i might need to do some self re re reflection you know and and i was saying that earlier you know are you hypocritical within your own family uh, my grandfather made some big foot footprints you know and and that does matter you know so especially you know w when your family um uh you know, and, and, and your grandparents and the people who, who, who come, you know, be, be, before you, if they're doing something positive, you want to make sure that you're carrying that positivity, you know, to the next generation and so forth, so, so forth. So, yeah, I, I, I totally get, get that. Um, OJ, did you have something you want to say? No? I won't self-reflect. <laughs> well, <laughs> Okay, okay, it does. All right. Okay, everyone. Again, thank you for coming. I thought this was a, a, a good show. It was a, you know, um, uh, a bit more, more serious, you know, whatever, but um, it was a topic that I, you know, that I've been wanting to, uh, to, to talk about, especially with what's, you know, going on in, in the world today. So anyone, anyway, everyone, um, I hope everyone has a good afternoon. I am Solid Blue Sister. This is my turn to talk and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye, shy lady. Goodbye, OJ. Yes, today's topic was interesting. Chemists, as always, thank you. Doss, <laughs> oh, Doss is gone. <laughs> All right. But Chemists, I hope your name continues to be strong in your city. See you later. Bye, Crucible Man. OJ, thanks for your input today.
appreciate it. He had a lot of good, good points. your children to be like you <laughs> how are you raising your kids do you want your children to be like you so that one will be interesting oh OJ do you have children how many do you have tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Thanks for coming. Bye.